Welcome to another Simply Answers Tips and Tricks video. In this edition, we're going to cover um, some of your basic apps on the home screen of your iPad for those of you who just are not familiar with the iPad at all and are brand new to this experience. So um, let's start here in the top row, top left you'll see a, uh, an app called FaceTime. So FaceTime is pretty straightforward. It's a video chat app from Apple device to Apple device, whether that's iPhone, iPad, Mac, or iPod Touch. So um, FaceTime's great. It works with any Apple ID. Um, so um, you can do any chatting, um, you know, face to face. Uh, right after FaceTime, we have the calendar app. Um, we'll go a little bit more in depth in each one of these apps you know, later on, um, but the calendar app is just your average day planner um, to keep um, all your uh, appointments and everything in order. Next to that is photos. This is where all your photos will be taken um, or kept when you take them with your camera or um, any photos that you save off of the internet or anything like that will stay in this app. Next to that, you see right here is the camera app. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Whether you want to take a photo or a video, you just use this app right here. Contacts. Um, this is just your, uh, your address book, basically. Um, so uh, if you want to put any phone numbers, emails, addresses in there, that's where those will go. Next to that, we have a clock. Um, you know, alarm clock, um, you know, current time, uh, stopwatches, stuff like that go in there. Maps. Um, just kind of a regular GPS type of app. So if you want to find out um, any addresses or look up anything nearby, or if you have a you know a cellular based iPad, uh, it'll also give you turn by turn directions. Videos is where all your movies and TV shows go into. Notes. This is uh, just kind of a simple word processor, um, not unlike a Notepad type app, just to take down some basic stuff. Reminders, um, just if you want to, uh, this kind of goes in conjunction with uh, the calendar above, um, but this is where you can really have like a checklist if you want to go grocery shopping or um, anything like that, and it will give you reminders um, if you want based off date and time. Photo booth um, is this kind of a fun photo taking app, you know, that will distort your face, um, something like what you would see in a mall. And game center is where you can see which of your friends and contacts are playing what games and you can challenge them and see what scores they have and um, you know all that fun stuff right here we have newsstand um, newsstand is nice because you can actually it links to the app store and you can subscribe to digital um, either newspapers or magazines and then you, th they'll update here um, so if you uh, like any kind of magazines and want to keep them digital they'll be stuck in this app right here iTunes, um, the iTunes store, this is where you buy your music, your movies, um, your TV shows, um, and all that content. The app store is where you buy your apps, um, whether they're games, um, utilities, um, anything like that, you get right here through the app store. And the nice thing is the iTunes store, the app store, all those um, use the same Apple ID and password, and they look the same as well. And we'll again get more in depth on that later. Settings, which is this app right here, is where you'll adjust the settings of your iPad, whether it's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, backgrounds, you know, your wallpapers, um, anything like that, passwords, um, it will all be done here in the settings. Here in the very bottom row, which uh, would be considered the dock, um, you have messages, which allow you to basically do text messaging from Apple device to Apple device. So if you have your iPad, and you have a friend with an iPhone, they can receive your messages and you know back and forth. Mail is just for uh, email um, to store uh, any messages or send email just right here. Safari um, is a web browser, so this is where you can do you know your web searches or you know anything like that. You know your traditional internet stuff will be done right here in Safari. And music is where your music is stored, not like the video app, but, but this is just for music. You'll also access iTunes Radio currently in the music app. So um, that's what you'll see there. Um, let's look up here at the top a little bit. Up on the far left where it says iPad, this is your Wi-Fi indicator. If this is showing, um, that means you're connected to Wi-Fi and you'll be good to go. If you are on a cellular iPad, you'll see it look a little bit different. It'll say your provider's name, whether Verizon, AT&T, whoever, and then it'll show bars, um, very similar to what you'd see on a phone. Here in the center, just simple time, and on the far right, we have our battery indicator, seeing how much battery we have. So, 
Um, this is a quick trip around the home screen on the iPad. If you have any questions on any of this, um, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook, just facebook.com slash simplymac, twitter.com slash store, or drop in any store and we'll be happy to show you more there. Uh, don't forget to check out um, our other iPad 101 videos we um, have out right now and we'll be coming out with some more in the future. Um, and we'll be happy to hopefully answer some additional questions with those. So uh, thanks for joining us. Hopefully we'll see you again next time. Thank you.